Hey, what's up guys? All right, today is another chilly, windy day out and we are going to do, on the S-Class, the rear accumulator that's in the back and I actually just bought one on uh, online. Here it is, pretty much the same as the front. Um, a little bit more uh, difficult job to do. What I mean little, I mean just a little teeny bit more steps to take some stuff off. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that today. Uh, it's on the passenger side of the car, uh, all the way in the rear. Actually, you can see where my little, that's a little <laughs> uh, car cushion uh, for your seat, but I'm using it as a, as a headrest to use. But it's right underneath there, and that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so hopefully you guys can see where I'm at. And then we're gonna flip. You're gonna have to go underneath the car down and around and up all right and if you can see this is the muffler on the passenger side and here is the uh accumulator tucked all the way underneath there um for me you can see this one's pretty rusted so it's definitely been on there for a while you have your bolts one bolt right there I don't know why it's not focusing. Come on here, focus. Well, if you can kind of see up there, there's one bolt. And then there's two more that are kind of like right, uh, right there. If you can kind of see it, just kind of slight silver one, but it's one right there. I'm sorry, in the reverse, it's two. But anyway, so what we have to do, we have to remove the exhaust tip from the back here. And the only way to do that is you have a screw that's uh, mounted to right there. If you can kind of see it like right there, that's holding uh, this whole bracket on with your exhaust. So I believe that's just the one we need to take off to get a little bit more. All right, so hopefully you guys can see there's actually two of them that are actually in here uh, that are side by side. So if you get those two off. bolt and you can now remove that uh, one off all right so up next you're gonna have to take this one off uh, this is the hanger that's a little bit closer to the wheel I know it's like zoomed in like really close for some reason but it's the best I could really do to show you uh, this is the one you're gonna have to push out uh, with two hands to remove and bring down the uh, rest of the hanger all right, so up next, you'll see off to this side where the hanger is there you removed. Next, you're gonna to have to take this apart, which is kind of holding it together. This is a uh, 12 millimeter bolt. Um, definitely put some blaster, uh, rust uh, remover kind of thing on there uh, because it's really, this stuff is exposed to all kinds of water. So it's just rusted on there. And, uh, you know, take your time. Like I'm doing, I'm not gonna use a power tool on this because it is really rusty as, as heck. Um, and just kinda, you know, unscrew it gently like that. All right, so that's the next step because it's still not enough room with the hanger down and this down to really move around to get out uh, the piece that we need right there. Okay, so in order to take this bolt off, which is, one that is right here which for the line it's a 17 millimeter and you can take the whole muffler off if you want to on this side but I don't want to do that it's time consuming to make more space but what you're gonna have to do is hold the muffler down a little bit if you're doing it like I'm doing and then take your 17 and pull uh, which would be upwards which would be uh, going back this way kind of thing um, in order to get that off. But make sure you just keep the bolts on, the uh, 13s that are holding it on, um, you know, right there, and then the two that's behind there, hold those on there uh, first. Don't take those off because it's on there very, very tight. If yours is kind of rusted and old like mine, yeah, it's not gonna come off without a nice good tug fight and a little bit of that uh, uh, penetrator blast. 
All right, so if you can take a super long extension like I have here and go inside there and unscrew with the air tool and uh, take those out and take the two one, the two ones, the two screws here, and then there's one hidden uh, right behind here. Oh, this you need to get to, but like me, I have a really long extension to kind of get up in there and take the uh, the bolt off of of that. And you can see it doesn't really come out too easily, but you know, just keep uh, trying at it to get it off. All right. Remember, those are 13s, and uh, both of those right there. All right, so now you have your one in the rear. That's right there. And you can take that out with the 13 uh, millimeter also. And just kind of unscrew that off uh, slowly uh, to remove it. You see right there. All right. To remove your line. And you can take the 17 millimeter to go in there and then you can do the rest uh, by hand to unscrew that. Get a little something rag because it's gonna definitely leak uh, down in there, uh, you know, on the ground and all that kind of stuff. So you wanna collect that and then you could just take the rest by hand. Uh, I can't really get in there too well. Well, you probably can't really see it because it's trying to focus on my hand instead of the rest. And uh, just remove the itself and as you can see my progress see how it comes out like that and then once you get it completely out it's gonna leak a little bit not a whole lot but just a, a little bit at a time it's gonna start coming out all right then after you got it like that you can uh go ahead and wiggle the sphere out i like to call it the sphere all right all right and you can, uh, bring it on down which you got to move the exhaust out of the way with two hands but that's pretty much it all right so after you got the sphere out it's pretty simple to just do the reverse uh process to put everything back and remember do it exactly reverse because if you skip a step it gets a little bit tricky to to maneuver around inside of there um that's the old sphere that's right there as you can tell it looks old it's uh, a little bit greasy and all that kind of stuff um and the new one is a little bit closer to me um with these you're not going to really notice that you know there's something wrong there's no code that it's going to throw or anything like that it's just going to have a very slowly throughout the years diminishing of the ride comfortability of the of the car so the sphere at the bottom will just start leaking out the uh, pressurized nitrogen and the diaphragm will be uh not able to kind of resist the bumps and the kind of kickback of the hydraulic fluid which you know hydraulic fluid cannot be compressed so this is the apparatus that maintains that so here's a little bit of a drop test right here to show like this just goes down just a little smidgen and then the old one kind of drops down a little bit way far so I just want to do a comparison test that you can kind of tell, um, you know, what, what they are with uh, the little bit of pressure. But you can't tell until the ABC system actually kicks in with a pump and is applying hundreds of more pounds of pressure uh, to that and, you know, really uh, can do the action, you know, at that point. So there you have it a little bit further down in the older one and the new one it provides a little bit more of a pressure on the opposite side uh, than that one but after that you will pretty much notice that the ride is phenomenal and uh we can go on to the next ones that need to be replaced in the upcoming videos all right thanks for watching you guys <laughs>